Today we're replacing the mirrors on the 2023 GR86. Some birds decided to attack it. So we should be able to do this. It seems like it's pretty easy. Really, you'll need the new mirrors, which I'll show in a second, a little panel popper and a rag. I'm gonna use a beer koozie just cause it's in the garage and I don't have any rags here. Ignore the messed up thumb. But pretty much you'll just put the rag on the bottom of the mirror housing so that you don't chip it or break it. Put in your little panel popper and then pry it out. And then once it's popped out like this, just kind of work around it and pull it out the rest of the way. Then you've got the heating element and you can just pull that right off. So this is the factory mirror, and then this is the OLM um, wide view mirror, I guess. I don't remember what it's actually called, but it gives you 40% more visibility because it's angled, and it's also polarized. So that'll help out a lot with sun, and then right there, I'm sure it'll buff out, but I just use this as an excuse to spend the... $135 for these guys off of FT speed but if you try to get just the factory mirror from like Toyota it's $125 so for an extra 10 bucks you get two instead of 125 for just the one it's already got the backing and everything for the clips the hookups for the heating element which will just pop on but all in all super easy you just clip this back in this is a pretty easy install it's much easier with two hands but that is how it looks for the olm and then that is how it looks for factory so definitely a drastic difference so <laughs> just slide the connector back on now you've got these little prongs that will clip into place. It's kind of hard to get it lined up, but then you just push it in. And there you have it. Mirror is installed. All in all, it's super easy. You gotta excuse the car being disgusting. We're getting it ready for DriftCon tomorrow. And then it is easier if you fold them back just so when you're prying it off you don't risk scratching your paint so push it back pop them off that's what it looks like on the inside you've got these four little prongs that it'll clip onto the sensor is super easy it won't matter which way you put it on because it's a positive and negative and it's all just a closed circuit so once you pop it on, it'll still work. But if you are worried about it, the green and black is power and the black wire is ground. 